everyone, welcome back to the BISD online video announcements. This week we'll be doing May 7th through May 13th. On Monday there's a STAR test, it's the EOC Algebra 1 at the high school. There's an FFA officer meeting at 12.30 p.m. On Tuesday there's a STAR test, EOC U.S. History at the high school. There's a second grade field trip to Glen Rose, Texas. And there's a sixth grade tour of the junior high. On Wednesday, there's an EOC Biology at the high school. There's a sixth grade field trip to the Fort Griffin State Park. And there's a senior cap and gown pictures at 9 a.m. On Thursday, it is star makeup test. On Friday, first grade goes to the Museum of Science and History in Fort Worth. It's the star makeup test and the state track meet in Austin, Texas. Speaking of the state track meet, we want to wish Braden Campbell good luck. He's been doing great all year. Good luck, Braden. On Wednesday, the Abilene Zoo came to South Elementary. We have some pictures and videos from their visit. Elementary had their book fair and block fest. We have some videos from that. special interview with this year's valedictorian, McKenna Moser. Hi, I'm McKenna Moser. Hi McKenna, how are you doing? I'm well, how are you? I'm doing well. Would you tell us a little bit about where you're going next after you graduate? Um, in the fall, I'm going to be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Um, I'm really excited about it and hopefully it'll be a smooth transition. I guess you've been over there and you've looked around and checked everything out. Yes, last year I took a full tour and I've actually taken another residence tour so I pretty much know everything about the campus. Cool, and what do you think about that giant campus compared to being here at uh, Breckenridge ISD? It's kind of scary thinking about it, being in a big city where there's lots of danger, whereas here um, there's not much to worry about. You keep your doors unlocked and things like that. Um, it's going to be weird going from being a big fish in a small pond to being a small fish in a big pond. So True statement. Um, are you going to live on campus? Yes, I'm going to live in one of the residence halls there and um, it's going to be much easier than living off campus. Even though I had the choice to live off campus, I just chose to live on campus because it's so close and uh, I would get more sleep in the morning. Sure. Do you have a roommate? or? Yes, she. Uh, I I uh, went on Instagram and I found her and I messaged her and we got to know each other a little bit. So cool. we decided that we wanted to be roommates. So Where's she from? She's actually from Cyprus, uh, down by Houston. If you know where that sure. is. Sure, sure. Very cool. That's good that you've already got that worked out. Yeah, it was a relief. What are you thinking about majoring in, if you know yet? Um, right now, I've got it set as international relations, but I'm thinking about changing it to something more creative. Such as? Um, maybe something in graphic design or something like that, but I'm not sure yet, but um, an office job just doesn't seem like <laughs> me, so that's sure. why I'm thinking about changing it. Well, let's talk a little bit, if you don't mind, about the fact that you're graduating number one in your class. Um, that's a pretty big achievement. You, you're in a very intelligent class, especially with the uh, young ladies. Um, yes, I'm, that's something I'm really proud of. Uh, it's something I've been working for for the past four years 
it tirelessly. I mean, I've spent almost every night just slaving over my math homework. On well, why do you do that? I mean, what's the interest? Just because it's not just about getting through the class, it's about actually learning something from the class, which I think a lot of people miss out on. Uh, and I think that's important because, I mean, why wouldn't you want to know more about everything? Well, I think that's one of the things that people here really respect about you. I know that I taught you first in seventh grade and a couple of times after that. Um, you are very intellectually curious and you do take learning really seriously and so of course teachers love that. <laughs> That's a good thing. If you were going to give any advice to maybe let's say juniors who are thinking about what's coming next, what would you say? I mean just take your dual credit classes, go ahead and get those out of the way. I mean um, you should always turn your work in on time uh, and do it well. That's really important. and. As far as applying for college goes, um, make sure you check out all the deadlines, the early admission deadlines especially. Get everything in on time, your financial aid. It's, it's all very important. Sure, don't wait around, in other words, or procrastinate. Yes. Well, let's talk about graduation night. Um, do you have your speech worked on yet? Are you ready? Yes, I actually, I actually wrote a rough draft a couple months ago because I kept having dreams about how I didn't have it done on graduation night. Is it like 30 or 45 minutes long? Oh, or? no, it's probably <laughs> about... No, I timed myself, actually. <laughs> It's only about four minutes. I'm so just kidding you. I promise you won't fall asleep. Well, we look forward to hearing from you. And really, from the bottom of my heart, I know I speak for many people, we are exceedingly proud of you. Thank and you. Uh, we just wish you nothing but the best. And uh, we really care about you and stay in touch. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, ma'am. As always, thank you for watching this week's online video announcements. We hope you have a great week.